everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, it's vinyl haul time. I have a huge stack of records. This is actually for the month of September. I don't know where September went. I know we're in October already, but um, it was crazy. Uh, I've never picked up so much vinyl. So this is the first half, and then the second half is right there. Um, gonna split it into two videos, so it's not so long. I have some stuff to talk about, so hopefully you guys enjoy. <laughs> um, so let's start off here with four tets. Pink album, this is the Vinyl Me Please record of the month. Get one every month if you want to watch the unboxing video. Check out my other videos. Um, double LP, 180 gram. And first time listening to this record or this artist, period. And it was really good. I liked it from the beginning. Um, it hit hard. It hit like a hip-hop record. It had a lot of heavy drums and bass on it. But, you know, it was kind of just balanced out with like the loops and the, you know the other parts other um stuff that he added into the song and I, I really appreciated it um appreciated it a little more after I did some more research on him and found out that he has like a ton of different machines that he manually kind of gets on and manipulates as the song goes and kind of kind of got a feel for his philosophy about what music is and how he wants to produce it and make it so I love that. Um, I'm not very familiar with electronic music that much, so this is definitely something worth listening to, because uh, I I just never really liked this type of music, and I really enjoy this album. Um, it's considered to be called Outsider House, Outsider Dance. It has techno, noise, and um, house music all put into it. Um, it has a low like a low fi quality to it as well, so it's kind of like punk rock in its own way. It, you can hear when the samples are being punched in. It's not overly produced. Um, it has just this really awesome vibe and energy to it. Um, what can I say other than it was just amazing? I, I really did enjoy it. Um, so again, here's the cover. Also very subtle looking, very elegant. I love it. And then the just pure blue baby blue bag I thought was very interesting um but yeah I'm looking forward to next month's record should be coming out next week so I'm looking forward to that but that's just a quick review of that four Ted album um give them a listen if you're interested uh they also threw in a free record that I had no idea was even included in the box it's by a um band from Denmark it's a punk band called Young and this is the reason why punk's not dead Bands like this, um, it's not going to sound like anything from 77 or the 80s. It has some influences dating back to those specific, you know, time frames, I guess. But it's developed in a way where it just has this new, fresh sound. The energy of, you know, that punk era is still um, present in their performances and the vinyl itself, it sounds like they're playing live, um, which is awesome because I think that's a great way of seeing whether a band is good or not. If you can listen to them on vinyl and then, you know, watch them live or whatever, and if they have that same energy and that same vibe that comes off of music when you listen to it, then you got yourself a pretty awesome group of musicians. Um, I've been disappointed before. Where it sounds amazing on the album and then you go to see them live and they're just mediocre. It sucks. So, anyways, um, 500 of these were pressed exclusively for Vinyl Me Please subscribers. They put them in randomly. So, I happened to get one. I had no idea what it was. You guys helped me figure this out. They didn't really promote that they were putting them in the boxes. So, whoa. Whoa. Um, so, that was pretty cool um, to, to get one of these. And I have a new favorite band. Like, I just want to pick up everything they've ever put out. It's a EP um, titled um, These Thoughts Are Like Mandatory Chores and I did write it down because I keep forgetting. There's no information on it whatsoever. Um, so check them out. They're making some noise. They're just really uh, moving forward with this genre of like the new style of punk that has attention to the structure and the, the music itself, like the song, but it has that energy and that raw feeling that just kind of keeps you wanting more. Um, so anyways, super happy to have this. Check them out. 
Um, again, thank you for letting me know what was going on. I also got three albums this month for free for referring you guys. It's simple. You send me your email and a message or a comment. I'll send you the referral link. You sign up. We both get free records. Um, if you guys didn't get it, email them. There was a mix-up. I only got one out of the three, and I emailed them. Emily is the one who responded. Shout out to Emily for being so awesome and so nice and just getting this worked out. Um, sent me my records in no time. So uh, email them. Let them know. But the first one that she sent me, and I'm assuming she picked them out, I'm not sure, but it's Umo, Jag Jag Jaguar. Yeah. And uh, didn't really get to listen to it a whole lot. Like I said, I have a ton of records this month. Not enough time. But um, from what I remember, it was sort of like this just instrumental electronic album. Of it. And if I remember correctly, I remember it being just very random. Pretty much out there charting in some experimental, you know, world. <laughs> um, I will have to listen to it again to get a better opinion about it, but overall, I mean, the weirdness of it kind of turned me off to it, but I kind of want to just give it another shot. So there's that one right there. Um, this next album I actually did get to listen to because I, it did come with my box. It's Will Butler's debut album. He's from Arcade Fire. Uh, it's called Policy. And um, it's it's awesome. It, it has a little bit of everything. Um, it kind of sh just hits on every genre of music, I feel. Um, very interesting lyrics. Poppy, melodic, but it also had that uh, just heavy rock punk feel to it. Um, and yeah, I mean, I will have to listen to it more. It did take a little bit of time for it to grow on me but eventually like I started to appreciate it a lot more um I'm a fan of Arcade Fire too not the biggest but I know who they are and yeah it was just pretty cool to have this and can't beat a free record so there's that um this next album that I got I have no idea but who it was because there's no name on there except for this on here on the spine but it's actually from Jackson Scott it, the album is called Melbourne, and just look at this picture. I fell in love with the album cover um, really fast. It looks really creepy, and here's the back side, just trippy. And the inner sleeve is sort of the same. Check that out. It's just really weird. Um, okay, now this one I actually didn't get to listen to at all, almost. I put it on, and I just way too distracted. Um, also, electronic. I believe it was just instrumental, but um, I will have to listen to it more. I have a lot to listen to, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I kind of like the direction that they're going with with the album cover, and that usually is a pretty good sign that the music is going to be interesting and and you know weird as well. Um, so there's this one as well. Um, that kind of settles the vinyl week please stuff. The next two records here, and this is going to end the first video. Um, are from my girlfriend. It was her anniversary, one year anniversary last month. And man, she knocked it out of the park with these two records. Um, a lot of sentimental value attached to them. <laughs> this first one is the Guardians of the Galaxy Deluxe Edition. It's a double LP. I believe they're pressed at 150. Um, it has the Awesome Mix Volume 1 and the original score by Tyler Bates. Um, this was our first date together. This is the first movie that we ever saw together. Well, I thought it was a date. She keeps saying that it was, she thought we were just hanging out as friends. Um, <laughs> but I thought it was a date. I was like, oh, no, this is a date. But anyways, um, whatever. Uh, awesome album. I, I love every, all the music on this. It's just amazing. And I can't wait for number two to come out. Um, so she got me this, which is really adorable. And then she, this shows that she's been paying attention to me <laughs> and that she really does care about some of the stuff that means a lot to me. And uh, so, yeah, she got me this. Nirvana's Nevermind album. This is the album that got me into music at a serious level. Like, I, I have never been impact, I've never been influenced so much by an artist in a band like Nirvana. Uh, 180 gram, classic black, audiophile quality. Um, 
I definitely gonna eventually do like a, Vine, a Nirvana haul where I show you like all the crap I have uh, from Nirvana, Kurt Cobain. But um, yeah, just amazing. I can't express how much that means to me. Uh, so thanks, babe. I love you. And uh, thank you guys for staying this long and watching it to the end. Uh, I hope you enjoyed part two, which I will be posting up along with this video as well. It'll be in the description or you can see it on the sidebar. Uh, whatever. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.